Hi, I'm Pavel Spechalski and today let's talk one more time about the DJI Digital FPV system. Yes, I know this thing again, but today we will not be talking about the V2 of the goggles. We will even not be talking about the DJI FPV drone. We will be talking about the range and the maximum range of the digital, digital? DJI FPV system. You know, Aerionit or Cadix Vista plus you install some stronger, bigger antennas, directional antennas on your V1 or V2 goggles and how far can you go? One, really, one of the most amazing features of the DJI system is how much range it really offers by default. Stock antennas on the transmitter, stock antennas on the receiver, you do the unlock for the FCC mode, put 1.2 watt output power and view kilometers and miles of range without absolutely any problems. Yes, okay, at one point there will be a de degradation of the signal and you will like kind of feel, okay, it's probably time to go back. However, do you know that there is a hard limit and by hard limit I do mean a hard limit of how, how far you can go with the digital DJI digital FPV and even the best antennas on the transmitter and the best directional antennas on the goggles? Yes, it is. So, no matter how much you try, you will never absolutely ever go further than around 13 and a half kilometers. Now, now there will be a short video recorded by my friend, thank you very much, uh, of what exactly happens when you cross around 13 and a half kilometer limit? So let's roll the tape. So, if you were expecting to see on the DVR some kind of the black screen on the information that signal lost or something else happened, well, you will never see that. Because what happens, what exactly happens when you reach to this 13 and a half kilometer threshold? If you still have a good signal and uh, good reception enough, you will still be having pretty quite nice image still even in the and the bit rate will be even can even be at 20 30 megabits per second no problem however when you reach the threshold everything stop dvr stops on the goggles dvr stops on the air you need goggles show you blank screen that you cannot really uh, record via anything that DJI offers and if you do not have return to home then I fear that your mother is lost because the only possibility back then is to trigger the return to home wait for half a minute maybe even slightly longer hoping that the airplane will recover and you will get the signal back and then go back home there is no warning maybe a slight degradation of the signal just before it happens but it's not guaranteed to happen in every case and then bam everything stops like super hard hardware failure everything exploded in the air why why is that because the DJI system is the bi-directional system. Yes, the Air Unit or the Vista sends the data back to the to the goggles in frames, but also the goggles sent back the synchronization information, extra data can ask for to repeat the frames of the data. And when the difference in time that radio waves require to travel from the receiver to the transmitter and from the transmitter to the receiver crosses this magical number of nanoseconds that passes when the light radio waves travel 13 and a half kilometers, the internal algorithm of the DJI system says, sorry, you're too far, I have to just shut you down, we are not working anymore with you go home. Of course, if you do not have return to home, you fall instead of going home. But unfortunately, in this case, that's the price you kind of have to say. Does it mean that the technology DJI uses does not allow it to go further? No, because most probably this is 100% software limitation that is just put in the, in the, in the firmware of the 
goggles and the DJI Air unit that if the delay of the signal transmission is just too high, we stop instead of trying to get to work with what we have. I'm pretty sure that if the DJI wanted to increase the range twice, only thing that they should they have to do to achieve that is to release a new firmware. So yes, at this point we are limited to the 13 and a half kilometers, but with the next versions, who knows? If the DJI will want this to happen, it will happen. Still, I'm not sure that when we are recording, I am recording this video, it's still confirmed that in case of the 2.4 version and the DJI FPV drone, it's exactly the same limit. Might be different, might be the same, but right now we are talking about the 5.8 gigahertz with the V1 goggles and all the Air units and all the Cadix Vistas. Maybe, maybe for the DJI FPV drone it's more. However, they say about 10 km range, so I doubt they raised it because that would make actually very little sense. So, to finish this video, long range with the DJI, yes, indeed, it's simpler. It's super simple to go further than you were going with the analog, but once you will cross the 13 and a half bam, no more picture and if something goes wrong with the firmware on the flight controller you are using, I'm afraid your mother is lost. So, be careful, happy flying and until the next one. Bye bye!